Girl, God do not bless mess. I say it again. God does not bless mess. Have y'all heard about the church? Huh? You guys know that lady, Shawnee O'Neill. Remember her? Yeah, her husband, which is a pastor, honey. They are telling me that the church is shut down indefinitely. God came through with Mother Nature and tore it down. Did you know that the pastor was in bed with T. Jakes, Diddy Jakes, okay, a.k.a. Diddy Jakes? Yeah, he was supposed to come. Diddy Jakes was supposed to come preach really soon, but God said, oh, no, oh, no. They said that that pastor, his church, is one of the biggest church in that area, and it was growing very, very big. And, honey, I got uh, Miss Brown on the line, and she got a lot of stuff to say about this, okay? And as you guys can see, a lot of articles is talking about it. His church is closed indefinitely. When I tell you God came through and ripped that roof off and said, you would not, you would not make a mockery of the church, okay? And, honey, she even told you, Miss Brown, the lady I'm about to play, she says that Christians are supposed to judge Christians, not the people that's not, you know, if they outside of church, you don't judge them. You don't put them, their mouth on them. Judge your kind. Keep it on your kind. So that's why she judging uh, this pastor because they all are a part of Christian stuff. You understand? So make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, The Messy Sweet Spot. I'm your host, Miss Gigi XOXO. Let's see what Miss Brown had to say. She breaks it down, and I like how she does it. Judgment begins with them. This means that believers will be judged first, and it is not for us to judge those outside of the church. Now, let me repeat that. Repeat that. Do y'all hear that? If they not a part of Christianity, y'all keep your mouth off of them. You judge your own, okay? It is not for us to judge those outside of the church. So before you start sending me comments like, don't judge, be reminded, Keon Henderson is a shepherd. He is. Thank you. He's he's a Christian. So you Christians, keep your mouth and judgments off of non-Christians. They are not a part of y'all. I like that. I like that she know her word. Come on. In the inside, not the outside. And as believers, we can judge him righteously. Now, Keon, Keon Henderson's Lighthouse Church is one of Houston's largest congregations and one of the nation's uh, largest, fastest growing black churches. On Wednesday, it was announced that the Lighthouse campus suffered significant damage from Hurricane Barrel and is now closed indefinitely. And that's a quote. It is closed indefinitely. The roof has collapsed in several locations from Hurricane Barrel, including the sanctuary, and there is water damage throughout the building and much of the electrical system is compromised. Wow. Now check this out. Pastor Keon had... Wow, that's a lot. You see what God did? God don't play. You will not sit up here and make a mockery of him. You will not deceive his people. Oh, see, honey, honey, let's go. Also just celebrated, quote, the success of late June's Cry Out Conference 2024, end quote, which featured his mentor, Bishop P. Diddy Jakes. That's what, what? I call him. And, and what not p diddy jakes the power bottom girl what honey they are and you know he's with shiny and you know she's hollywood honey she's doing that reality show with all those girls being so wicked and holly weird how could she sit up there and be the first lady and produce such worldly stuff like that you know what i'm saying they got one hand in jesus and christian and then the other hand is in the world okay you can't serve two masters girl nfl legend deon sanders now jake's is no longer qualified to be a bishop. With his twice divorced daughter, one accused of uh, stealing a child, that's his oldest core, what? and his son who was arrested in a Dallas park for exposing himself before an undercover officer, and what? everybody knows that he is also a homosexual. What? So a bishop is supposed to be beyond reproach. That's what the Bible says in Timothy. But this so-called TG, TD Fakes was the headliner for Keon Henderson's 
2024 cryout conference. And Deion Sanders, who we all know laid up with Tracy Edmonds for 12 years. What? And you know they were having sex. So these were his two headliners, okay? Now, Deion Sanders is proclaiming himself to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Maybe he repented, I don't know. But I'm gonna ask this question. Has the marriage of divorced pastor Keon Henderson to divorce Shawnee O'Neill, Shaq's ex-wife, caused him to be in judgment? And Keon started dating Shawnee before his messy divorce was final. And he told the Atlanta Black Star, quote, because my divorce was so messy and elongated, I made a decision that I was going to start dating Shawnee before the divorce was final because I wasn't going to let somebody hold up the divorce, showing me how I could live my life. What? Oh my goodness, honey. And if you guys did not forget, do you guys remember when...